What's up, yo, yo, yo? <laughs> um, what's up? I got, <laughs> I got a uh, StarCraft Cassie cast for you guys, and uh, this time I have I'm Best, who is on the Protoss right here, and he is up against Reverberation, and this is actually Kokanee. So Kokunee gave me some reaps. He played against some guy on the Korean maps. And looks like this guy's gonna scout the middle. And uh, we'll see how these games are. So uh, I think it was for money. And they played about, I think 10 to 12 games or maybe even 14, but uh, I'm only gonna do uh, seven games between these two. So uh, we'll see how these games play out. And um, I'm gonna try and do all seven at once. Um, I'm hoping I can finish before my basketball draft. So, um, looks like, yeah, so we got Kokanee on the Zerg right here. We got I Am Best. If anyone knows who this guy is, um, say it in the comments. He is on the Protoss. I think Kokanee already beat this guy 1-0. So this is probably the second game between these two. And um, here's your scout. And I think I'll keep the colors at red and yellow. So we got an extra nexus for on best. Going to get that choke cannon. We'll see if he gets another one. Doesn't Probably not going to, but I don't think it's necessary. But we will see. Going to see that Kokanee went with a hatchery. Here is your double... Uh, creep colony and <clears throat> uh, Kokanee said that he doesn't really know all the positions in this map so some of his buildings may be out of place because uh, he, he never really plays this map so uh, going with the double sunkins right here so gonna be pretty safe I think he's got enough money for another hatchery so we'll see if he puts down another hatchery no gas just yet Double gas for on best, so pretty standard build from on best right here. And playing at pretty high APM. And here is your scout. So Kokody going to see that he is uh, his opponent is bottom left. So and we will see what on best goes with. Maybe he'll go with he's probably gonna go with drops. And I'm guessing Kokony's gonna leave some of these guys out on the sides to get make sure he gets that vision and uh, he knows that he's up against a ch uh, cannon choke so he might even get three or four extra hatcheries so here's his first gas and yeah we'll see how he plays this one so he said there's uh, these games are pretty pretty exciting a lot of action and um, yeah so here is your I'm gonna guess Citadel and a robotics this guy the overlord is going to come in here and get some scouty action and still getting that information with the probodope here so trying to kill it but and another two more gases for on bust and getting close to killing this pro but not just yet. Here is a Hydralis Den and Kokanee at 900 minerals. So um, I think he can build another two or so macro hatcheries. He's got the money for it. Getting another extractor and gonna maybe start getting some Hydras. He's getting Hydra speed right now. Uh, he has the minerals to get a lair. And the gas for it. So just gonna put two sunkins right here. And might go with an expo. Interesting choice. So I think he's gonna go with an expo right here. So if he does get dropped, um, he's gonna have another expo for his mineral. So um, I've seen him do that in the past. I've seen some other players do it as well. <clears throat> here is a creep colony. Is that and a Stargate. So, gonna have a Corsair out pretty soon. Here is a 
Dragoon gonna start sending this out. We'll see if Koken is gonna have the Hydras here, so it should be able to take care of the Corsair. So here is that macro hatchery, and yeah, so basically it's pretty standard game right now. Let me turn up the volume and might lose this overlord right here and i was talking to kokani a little bit and he was saying how the korean map is tough to play on be if you're a middle spot like this because you can get dropped from here 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 and over the top compared to being in a corner spot you can only really get dropped from here and here well, actually, no, I mean a corner spot, so you can only get dropped from here and here. And in the, um, in the, on the western map, basically, you can only get dropped from here. And down here, you get a lot of vision, so it's a lot easier to stop drops that way. So, looks like we got a Queen's Nest on the way. Gonna have eight Hydras to snipe out drops. Here's a Reaver drop at 6 minutes and 30 seconds. And <clears throat> this should be close. It is finished. So we'll see if uh, this gets spotted out. Looks like it is going to get spotted out. And going to try to micro it around and try to get at the minerals. Here is your hive coming from Cokester. And looks like here's that Corsair. We'll see if a Spire gets put down pretty soon and start using scourges against any drop ships might be another drop looks like we got yeah so two robotics here comes that drop gonna drop the reaver I'm gonna take out that zergling right there and going to get some nice shots off on the shuttle right there get that volume up just a tad more and the range is going to be just about done here comes another drop this is a templar drop four templars in here they're probably going to go with the double drop, bring this one up as well. This one's going to get sniped, and the Templar is not going to get that shot off. And this one going to get sniped out too, I think. Yeah, so going to get that all sniped out as well. So got the pole off. I think he has all of his hot, or all of his drones hotkeyed. And here comes another Corsair. I'm guessing another drop's going to be on the way. And so I think this game was a Protoss versus Random. Kokody was random, and this guy was Protoss, and then eventually he wanted to start picking the matchups. So later on, I think we get some Protoss Terrans, and then Terran Protoss. Going to build some middle robotics, it looks like, and looks like a drop, possibly a double shuttle drop, and is this a drop as well? Double drop right here, so triple drop, going to be over the middle and on the side gonna miss that job gonna storm all the hydras right there and gonna pull the the drones pretty nicely though so oh this guy might get a storm off and gonna get about seven kills right there maybe a little bit more maybe 10 or so so i'm guessing another drops getting queued up so this guy drops a lot and a couple spore counties coming down and i'm guessing Kokody might start getting lurkers. Uh, looks like he's got a spire almost finished here. Getting some spores over here. See if he's getting an upgrade. So he's getting an upgrade on his attack. Here comes a, another Corsair. Nothing in this drop, so he probably will snipe this out. And here comes another drop. And Best is basically maxed out, so he's going to go right on the offensive and go for the attack here. So we got a greater spire on the way. And a lot of gas for Kokony right now. So we will see if he goes straight into Guardians. And let's see if any upgrades are for um, best. So going to have this drop right here. Probably going to go with the attack. And then going to try to get this drop in. And there's another drop right here. So going to go with a double drop, I think. So here comes the attack. This drop coming over. Gonna pull the Hydras up for the attack. Gonna pull all the drones super nicely. They must all be hotkeyed, so. Um, and gonna pull them back. One storm gonna come down. Gonna go back and forth. And 
He might get stormed though. Ooh, he did get a nice storm off right there and got about maybe 15 or 17 or so kills right there, but um, not going to really affect Kokanee too bad. So, and he's got this expo right here, which has about at least 12 drones. So his money is going to be okay. I'm going to take out that shuttle right there. Take a sip. And we got, is this another drop? No, it's just a shuttle over here. So, looks like we might get a reverb push in the middle. Uh, usually players do that after they try to go for drops. And I would have to say that it was an unsuccessful drop. Um, and Kokanee has a lot of gas. So, um, you should be able to get some Guardians, a lot of Scourges it looks like. And... Going to get a lot of sunken colonies up here. So we'll see what um, best goes with. I think we got some lurkers on the way. I don't see them though. Or he's upgrading lurkers. Yeah, lurker is getting upgraded. Here comes another drop. Two Templars in this one. And these Reavers are slowly going to push. We'll see if this gets spotted out. Going to take out that hatchery up in the front. <clears throat> and here is a guardian, just one guardian on the way. And we'll see if this drop maybe comes up top right. And we'll see if Kokanee spots that out. But it does have this expo over here, so it's going to be super helpful. And 4,000 gas, so really can do whatever he wants. Going to take this out, I think. And here comes the drop over here, but these... Reavers are slowly pushing in here. I'm guessing a drop might come from the front. One upgrade on attack for on um, best. And here comes a big attack. And going to try to bust through the front here. These guardians are going to do some work. I think he's going to use this drop pretty soon. So trying to bust through the front, but all these guardians are going to take over. And a couple devours here. And I think Kokanee's just going to start making a lot more hatcheries. So here comes that drop. And this might get in there. So we'll see if Kokanee sees it. And doesn't look like he's going to. Oh, he pulled it super nicely. So pulling all of his drones like a boss right there. And here comes your guardians. So we're going to start taking out this middle. And I think Kokanee is going to start getting... Yeah, probably going to macro up with the hatcheries. Still building a lot of creep colonies, so... Um, he could almost... He could probably get a Nidus Canal if he wanted to. Put it over here, and then even send more drones over here if he wanted to. Uh -uh, if he was worried about his minerals. But... Um, Bass really hasn't landed too much. Here comes a Reaver and a Templar in there. And look at all of these... Creep colonies. Turning into Sunkens and Spores, I'm guessing. And here comes another attack. Let's see what the upgrades are. Still just getting one upgrade. Is this another forge? And here comes another drop. We'll see if Kokanee spots this one out. So it looks like it's coming through. There's the Reaver. Might not see this one. Gonna pull. And not even gonna get that off. So, And these Guardians are going to do some work. Has the upgrade on the attack for the Guardians. So they are doing 22 damage right there. So I think Kokanee might start... Busting through the middle here. Looks like we might have a drop coming right down the middle from on um, best. And these guardians are going to take this out. Is this a drop? No, fake drop, I guess. And here is a real drop. We'll see if Kokanee sees it. There is the Templar. Not going to be able to get it off. So all these Sunkins are doing mad work. So I think Kokanee might get some more, I'm waiting for him to get some more hatchery so he can just start messing up. He's got the lurkers here, he's got the guardians here. Probably going to be getting a defiler bound pretty soon. And on best really just can't get in here, So and he can't get any drops off really. So He's got that second upgrade on his attack, and some more drones getting made here. 
Trying to push in. We'll see some storms come down. And a couple more mutas getting made. Here is another spire. Some more guardians, I'm guessing, getting made. So might just go with a ton of guardians just to take over this middle. And the shuttle just chilling here. Let's see what the vision is. So this is the vision for Kokani right now. Let's see what the vision is for Ambast. So he's got that drop coming right here. And I don't know if Kokani is going to spot that out. So going to ooh, micro around it, but I think he's going to get it. Ooh, drop the Templar right here, but that's going to get killed. So still not going to get any drops off. And Kokani has a ton of money right now. So we'll see if he just starts getting those hatcheries. I know it's kind of annoying in this. It's hard to get hatcheries in this position and here comes a frontal attack again we'll see if maybe on best get some arbiters of some sort and a couple more guardians coming down here gonna take out these guys these guys are on hold position so absolutely gonna get blasty blasted and we'll see if any storms come down i think this guy has a storm in him and just taking out all of this pretty easily with all of these guardians. We'll see if he makes some more guardians right here. And basically doing this off of six or seven hatcheries. So just defending really, really nicely and buying himself as much time as he can. And then probably just going to get a ton of guardians, I think. So I'm going to go with. Got the. Level 2 upgrades on his attack for his air. They're probably getting 3. Level 3 attack as well. And I think he's also getting the carapace upgrade. So. And these Corsairs are going to clean that out a little bit. Gonna have to micro back to some spores. Might make this into a spore colony. Yeah. That's always. Uh, using guardians and spore colonies is super good for holding and buying time so finished making drones over here we'll see another drop maybe gets we'll see if another drop comes through and even more guardians right here gonna get a couple more macro hatcheries over here and just going to keep making the guardians so see if the upgrades just level two on the attack for um, on best and he's going with some more Corsairs and he's basically maxed out so gonna have to just keep attacking here and needs to try to land a drop but he hasn't been able to so look at all of these sunken colonies it's almost impossible to get in here with any units other than Reavers and Corsairs this is a possible drop right here there's a Reaver in here and four Templars, so going to try to get this drop off. We'll see if he's able to. There's four Templars in here. Some Mutas. And going to maybe try to storm, but there's just way too many Sunkins here. So, not going to get anything done there. And these Spore Counties are doing some work. This guy's on hold position. He's going to get murked. Slowly going down, but going to lose at least one of these, maybe two. A couple more Spore Counties, and the Mutas are going to finish that up. And some more Guardians and Devourers on the way. So, looks like Kokonis is going to keep making Devourers and Guardians. Nice storm right here from Ambast. And Ambast is going to get rid of some of his Probe Adobes, but um, just can't really get in here. You should maybe get an Arbiter and try to maybe recall of some sort. And a couple more macro hatcheries for Kokani. And looks like Kokani's just going to go on the offensive right here. Micro these guys back a little bit. Some observers up in here. Take out that Corsair pretty nicely. And it's going to keep building this choke. Going to get some more gas over here. And yeah. Ambas just can't do anything here. So 
Can't land one drop. Is this another drop? So we got another drop coming over here. Maybe try to go in the corner. We'll see if Kokani spots this out. And these guys are going to be at Blasty Blasted. There's a Probodob over here. Here comes that drop. And going to get a storm off, but already pulling the drone super fast pull right there. So he must have them all hotkeyed or something, which would be like five hotkeys. So I'm going to slowly start moving out here and probably make more guardians. Start using all of his guardians. I'm guessing he has three one on his guardians. Yeah. So one three on his guardians right now. I'll micro back, bring in the devourers and start taking over the middle here and he's at 185 supply so got the hydras coming and gonna start busting through the middle the hydras taking out the corsairs pretty nicely and this is gonna go down pretty pretty quickly i'm guessing kokanee's just gonna keep making hydras for his uh guardians here so we'll see yeah some more hydras right here and gonna take out these reavers. Some more guardians coming here. Devourer doing what he can. But no other devourers really here. Here comes some more hydras. Let's see if there's any upgrades on these guys. Yeah, one three upgrades on the hydras as well. And the hydras and guardians is absolutely merc uh dragoons here. So <clears throat> a couple more a couple templars coming here, and we'll see if some storms come off. Nice little storm right there. And another storm. And Looks like Kokani is slowly just taking over the middle. And I'm best going to leave and say he went easy on him. So first game that I cast it goes to Kokani there. And I think he's 2-0 and on the guy right now. So let me double check and make sure these are in order here. Two zero five. <clears throat> yeah, I think they're all in order. So we got a Terran versus Zerg. I think this one was random versus random. So we'll see how this one goes. I think Kokini is a really, uh, really good uh, Zerg versus Terran. So we'll get to see this guy's Terran. So and the BM will continue. So. So, Kokani in a corner spot, so that's going to be good for him. And we'll see what Am Best goes with. Looks like he's going to go with the triple barracks. And, yeah, I don't know who this guy is. I don't know if they picked this matchup because I've seen that when you go Terran versus Zerg, a lot of players go with the two barracks, and then they go with that refinery instead of going with three barracks. Um, so, we'll see. Scouting the middle, going to put this overlord right here. See if anything comes out of here, or <clears throat> here comes a quick factory from um, Best, and this is my favorite matchup. So I'm um, best gonna get that scout off right here. Cody's got a couple Zerglings and already getting a quick gas. So we'll see if he goes right into maybe quick Guardians like he did last game. That's kind of what Western players like to go with. And gonna try to sneak this in maybe or maybe build a bunker right here we'll see or maybe build a, an, an engineering base so here comes some Ryan skis and going to try to get some information with this zergling I think he might think he's top right now but he's actually bottom right and here is an Academy that should be close to being done yeah so we'll see if he goes right into a starport and Maybe build an engineering bay so he can maybe push pretty quickly. But most players like to go with the factory and then right into a starport. Yeah, so there's a starport. So pretty pretty normal. We'll see if this guy gets makes it through. And not going to make it. So uh, let's see. Kokanee's already getting a quick lair and has two extra macro hatcheries. And probably going to get another gas pretty soon. Has four sunkens up here. And going to get some more information over here. And tank and siege on the way. So we'll see. This is going to be a tough push for Ambass because he's so far. 
And this map almost seems like it's bigger uh, than the western map. So, the western fastest map. So, looks like an engineering bay. Waiting for it. And a couple probably medics should be coming pretty soon. Getting stim right now. There is your double medics. And that tank is rolling out. And Siege getting close to being done. Starport, we'll see if he goes right into a science facility. And there is your Queen's Nest and a Zerg Spire. So, looks like Koken is going to go with super fast Guardians here. So, um, we'll see how Ambest counters this or plays against that. So, doesn't have any real medics here so can't really go for a frontal bust and some more sunkins coming down from kokani here and here is that tank gonna start sieging up let's see if there's an engineering bay and extra command center come from Ambast and going to try to start pushing here and already the hive is on the way about one fifth done maybe one sixth done Comes another gas. And gonna try to move this a little bit closer. And has the medic here. So we'll see. Maybe he's gonna go with a drop ship. So really doesn't have too many. I feel like his economy is pretty low. Uh, there is your finished up control tower. So we'll see if he gets a drop ship. Uh, he's got another tank on the way. And there's a tank right here. Here's a turret. So we've seen a lot of players do this. And they get that turret. And gonna move in a little bit closer. We'll see if any. Looks like a scourge is getting made from Kokani. So, in case there is a vessel or a dropship, he'll be prepared for it. Yeah, two scourges right here. So, gonna be prepared for a drop ship if there is one. Doesn't look like it's gonna be coming. And here is your comsat. So, I think as soon as that gets finished, we'll see. If he scans the main of Kokani. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and yeah, so like just going to keep building these sunken colonies back and make this push take super long. And already the Greater Spire on the way. So I think the Guardians are going to be done around 9.15 or so. Maybe even 8.45. So look at all these sunkens. And is this five mutas, four mutas right here? Got another five queued up, so could even do some Muta Micro if he wants to. Take out a couple of these tanks and slow down the push. And here is that drop ship. Nothing in it, so probably going to pick up some Rhinies and try to drop. But not really going to be able to do anything. There's just way too many Mutas here. We'll see if... We'll see if uh, Kokani is aggressive with his Mutas or just goes right into the Guardian. So the Greater Spar is getting pretty close to done. He's got... About 900 gas, so he's going to be able to make... Uh, he'll make at least six or so Guardians. And Kilkenny just laughing at him. Um, so, uh, this doesn't look good for Ambast here. Um, but he did go with an extra command center here, so... He will be able to build up his economy pretty decently. After he has to retreat from this, here comes a drop. Is this a tank drop? Nothing in it, so I don't know if he, if he missed picking it up. And the Scourge is on the side. Here is a, another hatchery. And can he get that upgrade on the attack? So Guardians are going to be done at 8 minutes? Holy crap. I thought it was going to be 8.45, so these guys are done at 8 minutes. And just going to absolutely merc these guys right here. So um, I don't see any... Yeah, I don't see any wraiths, so probably making a wraith right now. Might want to get cloak as well. Here is a starport, another starport going to come down. And going to take this over pretty easily. And we'll see if... Um, we'll see if Kokini plays this aggressive or just retreats back and then builds up his base. So, it's about 10. Yeah, 10 guardians right here. And maybe might want to make some Hydras. We'll see. A couple of Goliaths getting made. Yeah, I got to pull these guys back. A couple of Goliaths getting made. And a... Let's see what this is. 
Yeah, just gonna keep making the rates as well. So getting cloak and only playing off of two barracks and has three factories. Gonna build another factory. And yeah, so gonna retreat. And this is always uh, this always helps against uh, rates. So getting these spore counties here with your guardians really makes it almost impossible for raids to actually do any damage on your um, guardians so another hatchery getting made so looks like this game Kokini is macroing up a little bit faster than he did last game two spore colonies here gonna get another hatchery and even has the money for even another couple more hatcheries gonna build some more probably gonna build a couple more spore colonies can have this upgrade probably pretty soon yeah almost done there and let's see gonna build some turrets on the side let's see if the upgrades are coming from yeah upgrades are coming for on um, best here gonna keep building turrets on the side I think and gonna probably clump all of his units together here Let's see, if he, let's see if Kokudi makes these into spore colonies. This, there's the upgrade right there. A couple lurkers right here. And I hear something getting taken out. So that Ovi going to go out and probably going to lose this overlord. Maybe not. We'll see if it goes into the spore colony. But we're going to take it taken out by the Scorgy right here. And there is your Defiler. Gonna take out this Wraith really right there. So nice job right there. And Kokini just gonna keep building up his base. So uh, he's got a decent amount of macro hatchers here. Now he's got five plus another two, so seven. Um, getting probably ready has consume. Getting his upgrades for his ground. Here comes a tank drop. And gonna burrow. Nice burrow right there. Smart move there by. Kokini, ooh, nice scan. So going to, ooh, smart move there by Kokini, and then also smart move there by Ambast by scanning and able to snipe out some of the drones there. So I think he lost about 20 or so drones, so it was a pretty nice drop there by Ambast. And probably going to burrow this guy up. Let's see what... Yeah, some Valkyries on the way for Ambast. And has four command centers, so his economy is going to be pretty, pretty big. Lifted up his barracks here. And he's got one upgrade on his attack. And a couple of these guys are going to come on the side. Maybe see if they can find a Wraith or anything like that. Just to snipe out, get some information. A couple of Valkyries coming here, so... We'll see if the Valkyries are able to take out some of these Guardians that are just chilling here. And Kokini again has a ton of gas. And that's one thing you always want to have when you are a Zerg player. Is a lot of gas. So probably just going to put a Swarm up here. If there is a Frontal Attack. Which it looks like it should be soon at 160 Supply from Ambast. And he is going to go with the Attack here. A couple more Valkyries. Pretty much filling out his base right now and building some turrets on the side I'm gonna siege up here pretty nicely there is your swarm and these tanks are not gonna be able to do anything unless he does shoot this lurker right here he might get some splash damage on this lurker and he'll be able to kill that front lurker so going to take out all of these guardians right here so good job there by Ambast and gonna have to keep these guys pretty close to his spore colonies. Take it out some of his own overlords to get that consume. Put another swarm up. And a decent amount of scourges right here. So these guys are gonna get smoked. Uh, just running right into the lurkers. And here are your. Yeah, so it looks like Unbest is gonna go with all out tanks and Valkyries, I think. So. And already has a pretty big base. Is this a Radiate? No. So probably going to take out some of these Overlords. Going to take out 
these guardians pretty quickly with that splash damage so gonna run out of there though and we'll see if he just keeps trying to push in here I think he should get some Goliaths um, he's getting more tanks here and has all of his gas getting used and so does Kokanee so that Kokanee is gonna have probably a ton of guardians and devourers again and Kokanee could probably build another six or so hatchers right here if he wants to and one thing that Kokanee does is he goes for ultras uh, let's see if he's getting anything upgraded for that ultras absolutely destroy in ZVT so and gonna put some tanks on the hill so smart move here by on best going to try to maybe surround Kokanee here here comes another drop of tanks over here and gonna keep building turrets on the side And all these lurkers are gonna. We'll see if he just burrow, burrows these up and chills. Has a ton of devourers and probably gonna have a ton more guardians on the way. They're gonna slowly just push these tanks out. And these tanks, yeah, tanks aren't gonna be able to do anything here, so. Well, let's see what the upgrades are. 1 1 upgrades. Here's some vessels, some drop ships, so gonna probably put some more tanks on the. Hill here, some red stuff getting used by Cokester. Gonna put some more tanks on the hill, go with that surround. But here's all the devourers, and the devourers can crush against Valkyries, especially when they are really low HP. Gonna take out some of these vessels pretty nicely. Need some micro these guys out of here, and the Valkyries are gonna win this one. So, uh, some more guardians and devourers getting made. Gonna take out that tank, but not gonna be able to get it, so. Um, gonna take out these tanks on the side. Let's see if he's got enough energy. Has enough energy for a radiate. Gonna use these Valkyries right here, so. Doing a pretty good job uh, with his different units that he's using here on best. So, Devourer's getting used here. And 2 1 upgrades for. Kokanee. Gonna micro that out of there. Gonna blast a couple of those vessels. And all these irradiates coming down. So good job there by Ambas. And Ambas has a pretty full base. So um, gonna be tough to beat this. Uh, usually when you have a pretty full base, uh, the Terran can outmass the uh, Zerg. But the one thing that Kokanee's good at is switching up his unit. Uh, sometimes they'll have Zerglings, Hydras, Guardians, and then they'll switch into Ultras. Um, I'm going to take out these tanks. Has some Lurkers, some Devourers coming here. Just basically all the units. Probably will get some Ultras pretty soon. And going to start going on the offensive right here. And I think he's got pretty good upgrades. He had 2 2 upgrades on his Lings. And on best has no reinforcements here so waiting for his tanks to spawn which are going to spawn right about now and might just siege him up right away but Kokanee is slowly getting in here probably going to put some swarms down right here and going to keep sending in he's got some guardians coming over here and only doing this off of minimum amount of um hatcheries here so We'll see if maybe he'll go with a drop too. These guys are going to get smoked. Who's going to go right past it? Didn't see it. Oh, I think he did now. So those guys are going to get smoked. Here is your swarm and a swarm right here. And some lurkers in here. Going to buy some time. Here comes your ultras. And these guys are going to have some sick upgrades. So they're just going to be blasting through and take out a lot of these tanks, I'm guessing. I'm guessing a storm's going to, or a swarm's going to come down right here. And another swarm will maybe even come down right here or something like that. Putting another swarm up here. And so here comes the Ultras. And I think Ambes has just too many Valkyries. These guys are going to start working in here. Taking out some of these tanks. And yeah, just way too many Valkyries. I think Ambes is going to try to take out a lot of the Overlords of Kokanee. 
And that might actually work. So we'll see. Yeah, and we'll see Kokody going to go down pretty low with his uh, Overlord count. So at 163, 147. So not really going to be able to mass and losing all of his Overlords here. And I don't think there was anything in these dropships here. So going to take out even more. So going all the way down to 83. And let's see if these guys have upgrades. Yeah, 1-1 one, one upgrades. And this guy might sneak around, trying to sneak that around, but not going to be able to. And Kokoni is just going to make a ton more of overloads. He's got 15 queued up, 22 queued up. And going to send out some Zerglings right here. And we'll see. Maybe he'll burrow a bunch of units in the middle. Do some type of uh, flank or something like that. Getting an expo right here. Gonna probably take out all of these turrets on the side with his Zerglings. Ooh, this. See if this guy, this Goliath's gonna win that battle right there. And look at all these Zerglings over here. So here comes the attack from Ambas. He's gonna be maxed out pretty soon. And taking out all of these turrets soon to be. Here are your Valkyries and Valkyries with the tanks. And a couple of vessels here, so we'll see what Kokini goes with. He's probably going to lose a lot more of his overlords here with these Valkyries. I don't see too many spore colonies, and maybe he'll put some red stuff on these guys. We'll see. I think it's is it plague, and going to slowly push in here. Nice little plague action right there. I like to call it red stuff though. And Kokony is almost maxed out, so nice little defense matrix right there. And here comes the Zerglings and the Ultras. And he's gonna have an expo right here, so I think where's that Nidus Canal? Where's that other Nidus Canal? So maybe he's gonna build a Nidus Canal right there, but here comes a bunch of the <clears throat> Valkyrie's taken out a lot of the overlords, but Kokini has a decent amount of overlords and has the Nidus Canal here. And is this the Nidus Canal? Yeah, so probably gonna go with an expo attack right here and maybe build a ton of sunkins and spore colonies. So while all of Ambes units are right here, we'll just go with a huge ultra uh, counter attack. So. That's what I'm guessing he's going to go with. And taking this out pretty easily right here. So here comes the vessel. He's going to try to take out the minerals. We'll see if the burrow happens. There's a burrow right there. Burrow. So not really going to get too much done with these vessels. And here is your Nidus Canal. So we'll see if all these lurkers just start going in here. And we'll probably put a... Defiler in there as well, so waiting for it, waiting for it. And yeah, here's all your ultras, and they're probably gonna go right on in here. Gonna use these lings to take out these tanks, and I think he might just be waiting for a full on attack to be coming through the front. And here he's sending all the ultras. Perfect timing, and they're fully upgraded, and he is not going to be ready for this. They're going all in here, and they're coming all out here, <laughs> and we got a huge ultra attack coming, and I'm best is not going to be ready for this. This is going to be absolutely smoke. He's scanning. It's still kind of barely scanned it. He's like, where is this? <laughs> so this is not. This is going to be the GG for sure. And that's going to be 3-0 for Kokini against Ambest here. So, And there is the BM. <laughs> and the WTF. So <laughs> there goes the second game. And so I think 
The next one is going to be this one. So. And I think this is a Zerg vs. Protoss again. So we'll see how this one goes. Uh, Kokody on the Zerg here. Gonna go with the um, Chokey. And extra Nexus coming from Ombest to a Forge. So pretty standard. Overlord gonna scout down. And we'll probably. Uzi. Ombest is gonna scout the wrong way. So. But he probably will scout after he makes maybe two cannons right here. Maybe only will make one. We'll see. I think he's gonna make two. And I'm gonna guess this is his best race. So, here is your first uh, creep colony. Gonna probably go right into the sunken colony. And two macro hatcheries for coke stairs. And gonna send out the zerglings, get that scout off. Gonna see the cannons right here. So, gonna know. And gonna see that probodub going up there. So, he knows he's not up there. But he's gonna see the cannons right here. And gonna send in the overlord, get some information. Maybe he'll go with a quick drop into Ombest's base, maybe. I could see something like that. Uh Kokuni always does some like weird stuff sometimes. <clears throat> could even put some um lurkers on this hill right here. So we'll see what he does. Here is the robotics facility, so super super fast robotics facility. Probably gonna get that Citadel as soon as he's got that 100 gas. And here is that Overlord, gonna get that information. And Kokody doesn't really have to worry about putting any more, making any more Sunkins at his front because, well, He's up against super fast drops, and there's not even one. There's one zealot right here, so and he's got a couple zerglings here just in case, so he can micro these guys back. Yeah, maybe he's gonna make maybe one more, but I don't think he will. I don't think it's necessary. Gonna go with super fast hydras here, so I think he's just gonna try to bust through the front. He might get range first before. He's actually gonna get speed first. So, um, and here is a zealot. So, we'll see if he's getting a Dragoon. No Dragoon either. So, here is your robotics facility and a Stargate. Another robotics facility. Or, I mean, this is a robotic support bay and a Stargate. So, we'll see if he gets a Templar Archives. Unless he goes with speed on his shuttle. Going to get some more cannons up here and choke up pretty hard. Maybe he's thinking that's what he's going to be up against. And speed's going to be getting close to being done. So a bunch of Hydras getting made from Cokesters here. And still not going to get any... Still doesn't need to get any Sunkins because he's got the Hydras here. So um, getting a Sunken down here just in case there is some type of drop. I'm sure he's getting range. Yeah, there's range right there. So macro, or yeah, macroing off of four hatcheries, uh, macro hatcheries, or three macro hatcheries, and then he's got this one. So here is the Corsairs. So we'll see if he just snipes this out. Maybe only gonna send a couple of his Hydras. Doesn't want to give away that he's going for a huge Hydralisk attack here. So uh, we'll see if these Hydras are able to take this out. Might even want to bring these Lings here. I'm gonna send these guys to the front. Some more hydras coming. And is this a drop? We'll see. A reaver drop at 540. So super fast reaver drop. So we'll maybe try to snipe this out. And I think he might even get the, this. Ooh, he's gonna ooh, gonna drop the reaver. And nice little micro there from Ombest. So does know that there are a lot of hydras. And here's a lair already. I think 
Kokanee's playing this one a little bit better than he played uh, the first ZVP. Um, I kind of, well, I like this style a little bit more. So, it's a little bit more aggressive and he might be able to end it sooner. Here comes that drop. It's got pretty low HP though. And gonna pull. Where's that reaver at? Gonna drop the reaver right here, pulling the drones. And I think it might get a couple kills. Ooh, yeah, so we got let's see about five kills or so. And gonna pull that reaver out of there. And we'll see if Kokini maybe gets a spire right away. So we'll see. Ambesta is pretty good at dropping, getting another two more, three more robotics facilities. So he is going to be going with a ton of drops and looks like a drop right here. See if there's any, nothing in here and he might sneak this one down. And I think he's going to catch Kokanee off guard here. And the Reaver going to come out, but going to be a little bit too far. So um, these guys are nicely hot keyed and took out that Reaver pretty nicely. So a Templar right here. And... Here is your lair. A lot of hydras here. Twenty only playing off of twenty-eight drones. Gonna get some defense up front, but really just defending against drops with all of his hydras here. And I hear a drop getting loaded up. Some more cannons getting made from Ambast. Yeah, so here's your drop, and I'm sure maybe a, a huge reaver drop is gonna come as well. I think that'd be a smart move by Ambas, just doing a huge reaver drop right here, and then slowly pushing in. So, here comes that drop, and there is a queen's nest, and the spire, so, gonna drop these reavers in here, gonna micro them back and forth, and here comes a real drop, two templars in here. Kokini gonna pull, super nice pull right there. Not even gonna lose any of his drones, really. And I think there still might be a Templar in here, but it's gonna get sniped out. So, good job there by Kokini. And I think he's gotta get these guys. Oh, there's only three drones, so not, not the end of the world. He's got this Overlord right here, so he can quickly um, send his drones over there. And gonna make some more drone skis right here. And I think a big reaver drop is going to come from Umbest here. And yeah, that's what I I think is going to be bad for Kokanee. So a huge reaver drop. We'll see if he even gets more. I've seen Gangnam like do this where you just get a ton of drop ships with reavers. And then you just drop it right into your opponent who's really close by. And they just absolutely obliterate all of the uh, Hydralisks. So queen or hive on the way, probably getting the yeah, getting that upgrade on the attack. Gonna get a creep colony. This drop is gonna be getting finished pretty soon. He's got the corsair to tank a little bit, and let's see how many six shuttles right here. Gonna go in the corner right here. And we'll see if he just drops it right here. So I think that's what he's going to do. Drop it right here. Going to micro backwards. And might wait for some of his mutas. Or might try to get some mutas. And all of these reavers is going to be tough. And some more reavers are just going to keep getting dropped here. So not looking good for Kokanee. And there's even a Templar in here. And this drop is going to have a storm come down and take out all of the drones. So uh, yeah, I think Kokanee's going to be... Lose this one, so gonna lose that ZVP. And I think I'm best play that one pretty nicely. So now we got a TVP. I think this is the right one. They should all be in order.
Yeah, so this guy's just talking mad smack. And... I think he's mad that Kokody plays random and is saying that it's a possible excuse, but um, clearly it's been working against him. So I think Kokody is up on him. So three barracks from Kokony, and I think Kokony has a super, super good Terran. Um, always like it watching his Terran. Here comes two zealots. So I think I'm best one with the two gateways into the extra nexus. So we're gonna try to harass with these guys. And a bunker getting put down. And six Rhinies here. So I think he should be able to out micro these two zealots. Another two zealots coming, and I think I'm best gonna get maybe one one cannon here for his choke. He's already getting a forge going with a double gas. So you see a lot of uh, Korean players go with this build and gonna take out, try to take out some of these zealots right here. Seven Ryanese and gonna maybe split these guys up, try to maybe take out this guy if he can. And gonna go back to his bunker and take out one of these zealots. See if he micros that backwards. And we'll probably take out this guy right here pretty easily. This guy's going to get taken out. And Kokony might even be able to go on the offensive now. He's got the Academy. And he's got 11 Rhines here. So, plus another three in here. Going to look up here for any cannon rush. Two cannons getting made. Another third one on the way. And we'll see if Ambas maybe goes with... I could see him going with DTs. Looks like he's going to go with a robotics facility right here, though. So, here comes a an attack. And... Kokini going to see the cannons up here. Here is your robotics facility. We'll see if a citadel gets made. And going to probably just try to take out that zealot. Uh, actually just going to go right on the attack here. So might be able to take out this cannon. If he can get this cannon, then he'll be able to get this cannon. So taking out the front. If he can get that cannon, this one's going to finish up. Needs to send this Ryan over. This cannon's doing some work, and I think he is going to have this front right here. So, this is going to go down. So, good good play there from Kokony. And another robotics getting made. So, here comes two zealots. We'll see if um, Best makes a cannon. Yeah, there's another cannon. Some more Rhinies coming in here. So, should be able to take this out pretty easily. Going to micro backwards and start putting on some pressure up here. And probably going to micro, yeah, micro these guys backwards. And takes that out pretty easily. This cannon's getting closer to being done. Going to have to cancel that. And this robotics facility is going to be GG'd. And taking, trying to take out this uh, pylon. And stim is already completed. And already getting a starport. So nice micro macro from Kokony here. And... Looks like Ambest is going to, he's got a Citadel and going to make a bunch of cannons. And I think Kokini might just sneak around. He could just sneak around the back, I think. He could actually even just take out this, this cannon right here. And this looks like it might be the GG real soon. Um, I'm guessing two of these guys are going to be spawning. Here comes the Proba Dubs, going to take out some more probes. You got some more. Ryanese coming in here. Yeah, and I think this is going to be over. Two zealots and going to use the probes. Going to micro backwards and going to take out this Zelly. And is this a bunker? So smart move there. Going to get that bunker. And we'll see if he just takes out some more of these probodubs here. And making this one look pretty easy by busting through the front. Has more. Rhinies, and I think he's even going to have a tank with Siege, yeah. So, playing this one pretty, pretty nicely. Taking out, that guy got two probe kills. That guy got, I think, another probe kill. And these guys are going to clean up the rest of these probes. I'm sure an SCV is going to be on the way. Yeah, a couple on the way. Finish up this bunker. We'll see if a, there's your Templar Archives. And I'm guessing Kokony's going to start building some turrets inside of uh, Ambest Base because... 
just so he can um, have that vision for any of the uh, DTs. So yeah, there's your missile turret. Going to finish up this bunker, put those guys in there. They'll be able to get that range, start taking out this uh, gateway. And is this a cannon? And I'm guessing a tank is probably going to be pretty close. Yeah, going to have a tank and siege is already done. Going to get a science facility. And here is your tank. Going to take out this cannon right here. And then I think after he takes that out, he might just move it a little bit closer. And try to go after the probadubs. So, going to take out this other cannon. So, target firing that. And I'm best saying that he is lucky. And... Um, that did not look like too much luck right there, but here is the DT going to try to sneak this around, but there's already a turret inside here, two turrets, so not going to really be able to do anything, and a turret right here, going to snipe this out, I think, yeah, and going to see that and snipe that out, so that game is going to go to Kokanee, I think that's 3-1 of all the games that I've casted so far, and I think I got three more to go. I like Terran vs. Protoss, uh, especially Kokanees. Uh, a lot of the Koreans play Terran vs. Protoss the same way. So we got another TVP. So it's nice to see a more aggressive style TVP like that. And I wonder if... I'm not sure if they picked this matchup. We'll see. Because this guy keeps complaining about random. And yeah, so I think they picked this matchup. Because Ambas know, knows that he's up against a Terran. And here comes the double. This is going to be bad news, I think, for Ambas. Uh, this is one of the moves that Kokani goes with. But um, I don't know how effective it will work against a double gateway into a Nexus. So there will be some uh, Zealots. And here is the full-on uh, scout, uh, scouting right here. The Rhine sauces are going to be coming out and going to send this one to the left and going to see this probodobe here and another Rhine should be coming out pretty soon and two zealots are going to be coming out so uh, we'll see this may not work too effectively because Kokini is not getting this scout off he's going all the way in the wrong way I think he's going to use his SCVs to get in the way of the zealots and he'll micro around but these two yeah, he's going to have to go back. He's right middle and thinking he's bottom left. So he's going to have to pull all these guys. And he's going to maybe pull these guys back home. And going to see these zealots right here. Going to have to micro these. Going to use the uh, SCV to get in the way. A couple more Ryanese coming through here. And we'll see if a couple cannons come down. I don't see a forge. It's getting made here. Going to go after some of the SCVs here. And there's a, still nine SCVs. Going to move that SCV around. Going to micro backwards. Going to get that SCV in the way. And going to micro around. I think one of these guys might go down. Nice little micro from Ambas. He's close to getting a kill on that Zealot. And here comes some more Rhines. And they will take this out. Nice little micro. Two more Zealots coming in here. Going to have to micro this. And I think Ambas is going to get at least two or three kills here. And two more Rhines getting made. And I think this is a Rhine over here. So maybe pull that one. This guy's... This one is close to being dead, and I think Ambas thinks he's got this one one, but he does not. Um, probably use some of these SCVs to take out some of these Zealots right here, maybe to get in the way. An extra command center already coming down from uh, Kokanee, and going to take out those Zealots pretty nicely. Going to micro. Uh, probably lose these two Rhines right here. But he's got another two on the way. So he's got five Rhines. And going to micro that one. This one's going to get close to dying. Got the bunker right here. Going to micro backwards. And yeah, this is a fun game right here. So two more Zealots coming. But going to go after the SCVs. Nice little micro. Not going to lose that one SCV. But going to lose. Uh, only going to lose one. So um, these guys are going to get attacked. Get a little damage done. I think Kokanee probably could have built the bunker right here. And that would have been better. But he already has an extra command center. So that's going to be help him in the long run. Going to micro these guys backwards. Going to go around the supply depot. We'll see if Ambest tries to take out some more of the 
SCVs. Yeah, gonna take out one. These guys are pretty close to dying. Might need a couple more shots. There goes one, there goes two, so. And here comes the SCV gonna scout and get that. See that there is a cannon here and a robotics facility gonna be getting close to being done. And there's your Citadel two robotics facility. So I'm best playing this one pretty nicely. Kokanee playing at 240 APM, so playing this one pretty fast. And this command center is done. So we'll see. And he's already getting gas. Going to go with a stack attack and try to go for the front here. So I like this. This is going to be interesting. And here comes the stack attack. Going to try to take out some of these cannons or maybe just to spread these all together gonna try to take out that one there's a lot of cannons so not really gonna be able to get too much done nice attempt and the bm just does not stop from this guy he's kind of annoying um and gonna pull these scvs back and probably got a fact yeah factory on the way and now i think yeah i don't this guy sucks uh he's just annoying as hell so I just want to see him keep losing here so already has another he's got his Templar archives building up his base and I think Kokini probably gonna I could see Kokini maybe now playing really um, kind of turtly here gonna build a depot over here probably build a depot over here to get some vision around his base and one thing I saw, I think if Kokini switches up his build and puts the depots right here, it actually blocks this and makes it so the zealots can only come through the middle. And you can really put all your zealots right here. I mean, all your marines right here. And uh, if they're really nicely tight, then only one zealot can attack one Rhine at a time. So, um... I think in the future, uh, Kokini will do that. And then also, on this map, you kind of want to put the turrets a little bit further back. So, but here is the frontal attack. Two Reavers. This is going to be tough to stop. Getting a bunker. And going to pull out of this bunker. Going to lift this up. Lift this up. And we'll see if he tries to stim. And yeah, this doesn't look good. He's got the tank and Siege is getting close to getting done. Another bunker coming. And I'm guessing some more drops are going to be coming from the bust here. So I don't think that Kokini is going to win this one. This is a, this looks like a tough, tough one to win. He does have the extra command center. But I'm best one with that early, early uh, extra nexus. So his economy is a little bit ahead by about 16 um, probes and here comes a drop let's see if there's a two reavers in there and gonna pull the SCVs gonna drop the reavers and probably siege up right here and gonna maybe drop onto these we might be able to take this out there's the reaver right there and trying to take that one out And yeah, this is not looking good for Kokini here. Another siege. He's going to have to move this tank over. And Ambas has a pretty good uh, Protoss. He's just annoying as a turd nugget for sure. The siege up right here. Gonna take out two of the supply depots. Probably take this one out pretty soon too. Or it's just gonna die. We'll see if he tries to repair it in time. I don't think he notices it. And going to survive this, but uh, I'm best at 122 supply, and he's starting to really build up his base. He's got a lot of robotics facilities here, and Kokini's base is really, really damaged right now. So, and only at 35. Uh, SCVs here, so I think it's going to go four and two. I think this is the sixth game, so 
couple more depots getting made here is a turret and a massive drop coming from the corner right here and a lot of templars yeah this is probably gonna end it right here so many tempers that tanks gonna go down i mean that uh, reaver's gonna go down pretty quickly probably gonna target fire that reaver right here hold the scvs pretty nicely and i think there's still one reaver in there gonna pick up those they're yeah, gonna pick up a lot of the reavers and the templars and gonna wait for all these guys to come back and then probably finish off with a storm right here so Here comes probably the Reaver. No, a storm. And going to get the storm off. Yeah. So, going to move. Yeah, there's the GG. So, that one is going to go to Ambas. So, I think Kokini up is, is up 4-2. to two. And I think he just got unlucky with that early or that super bad scout there. And actually, two more. So, it is 3-2. to two right now so we got another Terran vs Protoss here I'm gonna take a sip and we'll see if Kokini goes with the same thing yeah this guy is annoying as fuck And I'm pretty sure they picked the matchup because Umbass is playing the same way that he plays all of his Protoss vs. Terrans. It looks like Cokesters is going to go with the Triple Factory, so I'm not going to go with that super aggressive um, double barracks kind of rush all in. And it's really not an all in, uh, but uh, it does slow you down. So, here comes some Zellies. Gonna have to go pretty far. And should be able to out micro these. But, gonna. Yeah, so he's gonna have to pull these back. He's probably got a couple more Rhines. So, usually it's six Rhines. Um, should be able to take out two Zealots. So, ooh, these guys are gonna win this one. This guy's close to dying. Needs to just target fire this one. But these guys are gonna get finished off pretty quickly here. So seven Ryan, so we'll see if here's your factory. I have a feeling that Kokity might just try to start tanking up the front. Looks like he's gonna go for an aggressive type of build here. Uh, double factory, yeah. So he's definitely gonna go with a pretty aggressive build. Here's your cannon. And not gonna get a quick academy. I'm gonna keep making the Rhinies. Three more right here. And gonna build a depot right here. So he will be uh, pretty nicely protected for this attack. Gonna micro a little bit backwards. Um, best uh, zealot micro is pretty decent though. So gonna take that out pretty nicely, and this factory is gonna be getting close to done. Triple cannon here. Here is your probably robotic support bay gonna be coming pretty soon. But that's why I'm saying I think super aggressive Kokini. Is going to just tank push this and blast through this. And I don't see a lot of Korean players do this. And I'm, I'm surprised. And he'll probably get an engineering bay. While he does this. So. Um, he'll be able to detect any of the DTs. So. Four zealots right here. So going to keep making the zealots. Here is your citadel. And here is your robotics. Another two cannons coming down. And Siege on the way, a tank on the way, and yeah, that's exactly what the Cokesters is going to go. Might want to get, yeah, there's his academy, so probably going to get three medics right away too as well, because um, these guys are low uh, HP right here, so we'll see if that's what he does. He's got this completed, so we'll see if he gets three medics right after this. Yeah, there they are, so... Uh, here is your double robotics and there's your citadel probably gonna get that Templar archives pretty soon So engineering bay yeah gonna use that engineering bay float that over here's that first tank and One thing is he may want to shoot at this cannon because it'll get splash damage on these two cannons 
So we'll see. Yeah, so I think he should shoot at this cannon and it gets splash damage on these two cannons. Uh, but at least he's not shooting at the gateway right here. Maybe it doesn't get splash damage. Apparently not, I guess. So, two tanks coming in here pretty quickly. Here is your Templar Archives. A couple more cannons coming down. And the Reaver... The Reavers are just not going to make it out in time. So, might... Just take out this pylon. Here's your turret, like I was saying. And two more tanks on the way. Just going to keep uh, this pressure and a super fast push here. Want to try to kill this before these Reavers get out here. And here's, I'm guessing two DTs are going to get queued up super fast. And a probe going to go on the, maybe make an expo of DT somewhere. So that'll be a good move by on best here slowly working in here um let's see if these are dts yeah two dts here's your turret and gonna build maybe a couple more turrets here's that expo and no extra commands so here's a starport and this is one thing that kokanee's super good at is he's got a super good push especially a tvz and a um Protoss or a Terran vs. Protoss if there's a choke. So I think he has these guys chilling right here in case a DT tries to run by. Ooh, this tank's gonna get killed, I think. We'll see if he sees this and tries to stim and take this out. Gonna lose that tank. Unfortunately, here's that expo. And I think some DTs are gonna come from that. Gonna keep making probably a bunker and yeah, there's a bunker and some more um, turrets. And there's your DT. Gonna yeah, so that's why I think he's got these Rhines right there. So no DTs can kind of get out. But a DT drop would be a good call. Here comes a couple. A bunker and a turret. So smart move there by Kokanee. And slowly pushing in here. Going to take out this cannon and this cannon. And probably this cannon as well. And here is your... Here is a Templar drop. And there's probably some DTs that are going to get queued up. No Templars are getting queued up. So, we'll see if Kokanee starts sending some of the Rhines around. Here is a vessel. And getting closer and closer. And going to stim and take out, almost take out that uh, Dark Templar. Going to build some more turrets. And getting closer and closer to the main right here. And, and yeah, this guy's saying this is all he can do, but... Um, I mean, if, if this is all he can do, then then beat it, you know, and going to leave. So not even going to call the GG. So is it four to two now? I think Kokanee is up and I don't think Kokanee's even been Protoss once. So so this is the last game right here and it's a ZVP. So yeah, Kokanee. Just playing this guy's Protoss basically every game except the uh, Terran versus Zerg, which he uh, Zerg versus Terran, and he he won that one as well. So um, I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing they picked on this one, and this guy is still talking smack, even though he can only play one race basically. Um, and if I do that money, I think he's going to lose again. So I'm pretty sure they picked this matchup. Nice little early scout. We'll see if Kokanee maybe puts the Overlord on the Mineral Patch. I've seen Toki do that. And I think Kokanee does it sometimes. And here is the first gas. Going to get that scout off. Early gas for Kokanee here. Going to use this probe to take a, try to hurt maybe harass some of these drone skis which is super annoying here is your uh, cannon I'm not gonna get an early choke so we'll see if Kokanee plays this one any different he's in a pretty close spot and um, I think it'll be to his benefit uh, he could just keep sending guardians over here uh, and that's maybe what he's gonna go for so, has the choke right here. And 
Looks like Ambas has a cyber, just has one cannon, no choke. Still gonna get some information with this probadobe. And yeah, just one creep colony, so I think Um I think that's all Kokanee's really gonna make up here. And looks like he'll probably make another macro hatchery. And he already has 200 gas, so I don't know if he's waiting to kill this probe before he shows exactly what he's going to go for here. But it almost seems like gas is actually easier to get um, on the Korean map. It's a little bit faster, but I, I don't know uh, for sure. So here's said 300 gas, so we'll see what Kokanee goes with. No speed or anything. Sending these guys to the middle. Might send them around. And a Hydralis done and another Macro Hatchery. Going to send these guys in here. Maybe take out this, take out that Pro. Maybe take out that Zealot. And probably be like, probably be really annoying with these Zerglings here. So five right here, one over here. And We'll see if he plays this aggressively or not. So we're gonna get that scout off. Not gonna see, well he's gonna see that robotics facility and a Stargate. This guy always goes with the Stargate with the Corsairs, which is super annoying. And probably gonna get the support bay right now. Here's your support bay. And three dronies and there's the speed. So we'll see if Kokini gets some uh, early hydros. Here's another macro hatchery. So, gonna have three macro hatcheries here. Sending in a Zergling to get some more information. Here's that Corsair. And we'll see if. Yeah, Hydra has two. I mean, uh, Kokini has two Hydras on the way. So, there is a creep colony for. I think he's gonna try to make, maybe make a spore. Unless he's going to make this into a sunken, so we'll see. And this is pretty nicely walled off right here. Has a couple zerglings right here. Going to try to take out this probodobe. I think um, Best is going to start making some robotics in here and try to push. Here's that Corsair. Not going to get any kills because there are some hydras here. And there is a sunken... These guys are on the side, so. And we'll see if Kokini goes with an, an expo um, hatchery, expo minerals, like he did on the first game, uh, Zerg vs. Protoss. So this layer should be pretty close, and here is your Reaver drop at 6 minutes. So pretty fast Reaver drop has the Corsair here, and. We'll see if maybe he tries to push with the Reaver or if he just tries to go for the drop. So only three Hydras here. So this will be tough. Four more are queued up though. So we'll see. That's pretty good timing. It looks like, yeah, Robotics in the middle. And what's this over here? A Templar Archives, another Nexus. I think he's waiting for speed, which is almost done. I'm going to try to sneak this down here. Uh, the one thing about this guy's Protoss is he's pretty good at dropping. So. And gonna try to sneak this. And I think Kokuni saw it. Gonna build a Queen's Nest and a Spire. And gonna drop the Reaver. And not gonna get that shot off. And gonna move these guys up. And not gonna lose any of his drones there. So. Uh, Kokini gonna go with probably Guardians pretty quickly. And might lose this. No, I don't think he will lose that Overlord. And gonna macro up his build right here. I think he canceled two gateways though. Not completely sure why. And getting a lot more gas. And another Nexus for I'm best here. So his name should be I'm not the best. Um, and here is your Hive on the way. It should be close to be getting done. Here's a creep colony. And upgrading storm right now, but doesn't have it upgraded. So we'll see if some Templars come. 
couple reavers are probably gonna get made in the middle another robotics facility and a lot of cannons so gonna play this kind of uh, kind of annoying but uh, let's see what this is an evolution chamber and a decent amount of hydras here so might want to split up some of these hydras here and then put some of the hydras over here so we'll see if that's maybe what he does yeah and here's your queen upgrading and gonna start trying to box in kokanee here so we will see i'm guessing a drop let's see if he's getting templars no templars on the way looks like he's gonna go with a reaver drop so reaver two reavers in there and this queen is going to help out a lot with the drops so two reavers in there waiting for the templars not going to make any templars just yet and going to just really just box in kokani here he's got the hive he's got the greater spire on the way to get a spore here maybe make this into here comes that drop not going to be able to get anything off on that another drop that's what I'm saying. This guy's pretty good at dropping. Uh, he needed that one to come maybe this way and then this one to come a little bit further down. But he does have potential to being a good player. I'm going to put these on the side. I mean, he's a good player, but um, to getting even better. Nice little green stuff right there. Spore colony. And he's got a lot of Corsairs, so... Um, Probably going to try to be really annoying and take out some overlords with them if he can. And move this back a little bit. Cooking to get an upgrade on his attack. And he's going to have a queen on this side, a queen on this side. He's got a decent amount of hydras for defense. And let's see if he's got, he's got six mutas queued up. So I think he's going to make those right into guardians as soon as he can. And probably try to take this out micro back and forth and some more corsairs over here being annoying and yeah six mutas right here so we'll see if he turns these right into guardians yeah so he's gonna turn those into guardians we might see a huge drop come from on um, best kind of like that first game but the guardians are gonna be pretty uh, gonna be able to, to handle that pretty pretty easily if there is a huge drop but the one thing is i guess with the corsairs and the reavers um that may be able to work so we'll see so we will just wait for this massive drop let's see how many We've got five shuttles and two reavers two reavers so six reavers total right now and let's we'll see if he brings the Corsairs over. And he's going to drop these right here, just like he did that uh, the other game. And going to green stuff that pretty nicely. Going to pull the Hydras and the Guardians are going to try to clean this up before the Corsairs can make it over. And here comes a drop, a Templar drop. So try to get that in there. So nice attempt there by Ambas. But not able to. And yeah, these... Guardians are going to take out these Reavers pretty nicely. And some more Sunkins and Spores around the main. And I'm guessing this upgrade. Yeah, I can upgrade the attack. Macro Hatchery here. We'll see if another few Macro Hatcheries get made. I get a gas right here. Yeah. And he's using all of his gas pretty nicely. And let's see what on um, best. He's got a ton of robotics facilities. And just going to keep probably going with a ton of drops. But I think Kokani is just going to keep making some more Guardians and Devours. He's got the Queens on the side. This upgrade almost died right here. Uh, he does have one upgrade on the attack for his ground units. Um, this is getting close to his upgrade for attack on his uh, air units. And here comes a huge drop from the top. So we'll see. We will see if this sneaks in here. I don't see any scourges or anything. And here's some. Gonna use this to kind of do a fake out. And gonna get this drop in over here. 
But there's a decent amount of sunkins, but I'm gonna pull the drones and nice pull there by Kokini, and he's got 74, so not gonna lose really any of his drones other than the ones that are getting gas here. So uh, nice job there, and now I think he's just gonna start trying to take out some of these cannons on the side. And he can even maybe drop some hydras on the side as well. Uh, is this a defiler mound? Maybe get a defiler. Drop some hydras on the side. Put some uh, swarm up and slowly just slowly drop inside of Ambest's base right here. Uh, but looks like he's going to start going for the attack on the front here. But I think the Corsairs are going to take this out pretty easily. Some Templars right here are going to storm these guys. And a decent amount of Hydra. So it looks like Kokunin is going to go on the attack with these Guardians and Hydras. It looks like another drop is going to come from Ambest here. And this is a lot of Reavers. So really not going to be able to do much here. Going to have to pull back. Let's see if some Devourers are getting made. Just all Guardians at this time. And he did lose a decent amount of... Uh, he got a couple shots on his main, so... Um, we'll see this big drop. We'll see if Kokony sees it, and then he shoots the green stuff at it. Uh, he's got... See how his upgrades are. He's going to have level 2 upgrade on his attack, so it's going to be 1, 2. kokony has been pretty good with his upgrades. Yeah, that one's going to be finishing up. And a couple more macro hatcheries right here. And here comes a drop. And going to get the green stuff. Going to pull. And some lurkers in here. Going to try and get some shots off. But he's got all of his... We might lose his main here. No close, but no cigar. And he saved all of his drones really nicely. And I think... Now Kokini realizes he can just try to take this out as soon as he can. And that's why I'm best is going to start, I'm not the best is going to start making some cannons up here. And he's probably got some Corsairs. But we'll see if some Devourers come. And he's going to use, Kokini's going to use these Hydras because there's not going to be many Reavers out here. So here's your Queen. And here comes the Corsairs. Going to have to pull these guys and help out his help out his uh, guardians right here and here's your devourers with the hydras and yeah the green stuff does wonders and slowly gonna start taking this out it's gonna have to try to take out these reavers maybe send some munas over there and going to micro these guys a little bit backwards these Devourers are taking out these Corsairs pretty nicely. And then the Guardians are finishing up. There might be a Storm that comes down right here and take these guys out. A little micro action right there. And going to lose the Guardians right there. But uh, a couple more Guardians up here. Going to try to take out these Reavers over here. And this guy's going to die. Ooh, maybe he's not. Spared his life. There goes one Reaver. And here's some Mutas. We'll see if he uses the Mutas against the Reavers right here. Slowly pushing in here. One, two upgrades. One upgrade on the attack for the Guardians. Going to make these into Guardians over here. A couple more Mutas right here. Comes a couple uh, Lurkers. I haven't seen a drop. And I, I just don't think he's able to drop right now. Because all of his robotics are in the middle. Going to burrow these. And I don't think there's an Observer. So this is going to go down pretty quickly no observer so that's gonna be bad i don't know how he's able to maybe he's attacking his probes yeah so attacking his probes to get that splash damage on the um lurkers there so good move there by i'm best but he's not the best he's getting pretty smoked right now And these Guardians are just going to keep taking out these Reavers. And yeah. So I am not the best. It is going to get murked. So I think that's 
all seven games. Hope you guys liked them. Give it a like. Give it a subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.